Welcome to BMW Plant Spartanburg. Please welcome the President and CEO of BMW Manufacturing, Knut Floor. This is really great. Governor McMaster, Senator Graham, Congressman Wilson, Ambassador Wittig, distinguished guests, and dear BMW associates. Good morning and welcome to Plan Spartanburg, and welcome, you are in the heart of the factory, you're in the heart of BMW. Welcome to this place. So each and every one of you here today is important to the United States, to the state of South Carolina, and to Plan Spartanburg. So I would like being begin to take a moment to recognize all the elected officials. And please, be kind enough to stand for us so you may be acknowledged. Here they are. In behalf of the BMW Group, I would like to thank you, and really thank you, for 25 years of continued support and personal commitment to this plant and to this big success story of BMW production in the US. Thank you very much. <laughs> Governor McMaster, Thank you for your continued effort in promoting and supporting our place and more even to support our partnership, as many governors have done before, especially the late Governor Carol Campbell. And Governor McMaster, I know that you love this place. I think I can say this because we see you quite often over here. Thank you for the support. And I also would like to say a very, very special thank you to Bobby Hitt, the Secretary of Commerce, who has been, let me say it like this, instrumental in the tremendous growth of Plant Spartanburg. <laughs> Bobby, I know BMW is in your heart. From the BMW Group, I would like to introduce Mr. Harald Krüger, Chairman of the Board of Management. <laughs> and Mr. Oliver Zipser, Member of the Board of Management, responsible for all the production worldwide. <laughs> Basically, my boss. And we welcome the national and international press as we are celebrating 25 years Spartanburg and the all-new BMW X3. Also, please join me in welcoming our valued dealers and suppliers. You are the network we rely on in the States. Our managers from Munich and Last but not certainly, probably the most important, I am delighted to welcome all of our associates here on site because the associates are the heart of the plant. <clears throat> 25 years ago, our company reached an historic agreement with local government to build our first US BMW plant in the great state of South Carolina. 
I would say it was the start of something really special. It was the start of a wonderful friendship, and it was the start of a new beginning. And Bobby, I have to admit, and you know this, on a personal note, I came here in the late 90s on my first international assignment. For four years, I was in the plant as a manager, and I always wanted to come back. Thank you for the friendship. As our BMW chairman, Mr. Eberhard von Kuhnheim, stated back in 1992, and these are the original words, seldom in the history of our company has a community extended such a warm welcome to us here in Spartanburg, in the state of South Carolina, in the United States of America. We have felt at home here from the first day on. And we can truly say it is today the same situation. It lasted until today. In 1994, the production started with 570 associates. And it was under the motto, Welcome to the Future. Today, we are proud to have 9,000 associates in this place. And we all know success comes from the people. And we were just talking about this, Bobby, when we walked up here, because we said in the first year we produced 28,000 cars. Today it takes us only 20 days to do the same. As of today, we produce more than 1,400 cars every single day in this place. Spartanburg has become and grown to the largest plant in the BMW network and in the BMW group-wide network by volume. And I think we will continue this path. That in itself is a very, very strong statement about our commitment as BMW to South Carolina and to the US. And it's not only the car production over here. So in the meantime, we are the competence center for all the X model production. Every X model production is supported by leadership and skills out of this plant. Currently, we produce over here the X3, the X4, the X5, and the X6 models, as well as the M models and the hybrids. As of today, we have already produced more than 25,000 electric powered vehicles in this plant. And we are starting to looking forward the production of the completely new X7 in the later next year. And I just want to mention, and I have to do this, it's all about quality. Whatever we do in this place, it's about quality. It's about the quality of the product, it's about the quality of the process, and most important, the quality of the people. Today, we are very delighted to give you an exclusive world premiere of, all, of our all new BMW X3. And this BMW X3, and it will come out here shortly, is without a doubt the best vehicle in X segment. And more on this you will see shortly. Of course, and I would like to mention this again, the success of Plan Spartanburg wouldn't have been possible without the people. People have made and continue to make the difference. And as we say in BMW, business is people. We are proud of the people that work here. They are highly skilled. They are very dedicated. And we are building premium quality vehicles for our customers day by day by day. Personally, I'm very proud to be the leader of such an incredible team and in such a remarkable time. World-class products are built here every day. And it's thank you, thanks to you, our associates at BMW, that feels very much at home here in Spartanburg, South Carolina. And I would like to have an applause, a special applause, for our associates in Plant Spartanburg.
We are honored to have so many friends, and we are immensely proud to call South Carolina our second home. This place is home for BMW. And it is our goal, and it is our commitment for the future to remain strong and a very, very reliable partner for our associates, our customers, our suppliers, for South Carolina and for the United States. But of course, a picture is more worth, worse than a thousand words. And uh, from this, here's a film to remind us of a few highlights out of the last 25 years. Thank you very much. Thank you for your intention. Enjoy the film. Welcome to South Carolina, to Greenville, to Greer, to Spartanburg, to the honest, hardworking men and women who build the finest automobiles on the planet. Welcome to BMW's largest manufacturing plant in the world. It all started with groundbreaking 25 years ago, and we've grown to become the crown jewel of BMW's production group the hub of a vast network of 235 U.S. suppliers and BMW Group business entities that directly and indirectly provide 70,000 jobs, whose consumer spending makes possible an additional 50,000 jobs for a total of more than 120,000 American jobs. Welcome to the plant that exports 70% of its production with a value of more than $10 billion a year, greater than any other vehicle manufacturer in the United States. Welcome to the center of competence for the class-defining X models and to the BMW Training and Development Center, where future BMW employees realize their full potential. Welcome to BMW Plant Spartanburg, our home, and an enduring symbol of BMW's commitment to the future, to the U.S., and to the people of South Carolina. Please welcome Harold Kruger, Chairman of the Board of Management of BMW AG. a great success story. And I can assure you it's great to be back in Plant Spartanburg again. It's a homecoming for myself as well. <laughs> Governor McMaster, Senator Graham, Congressman Wilson, honored guest Bobby Hitt, the film just saw and underscores the BMW Group's strong commitment to the United States of America. <laughs> and to South Carolina and to all our associates and partners here in the US. Without our partners and associates, that success would have never been possible. All this shows that the U.S. is clearly our second home, when I can feel it at my heart. We are proud to be responsible for around 70,000 jobs in this great nation, including dealer network and suppliers. The effect of that employment multiplies to a total of more than 120,000 jobs in this country. This is according to a new study from the Moore School of Business at the University of South Carolina. Furthermore, our purchasing volume in America is now at 5.7 billion US dollars. 25 years ago, and Bobby, we remember the time, a little bit less gray hair together, but we decided to build our first full production plant outside of Germany in the US, right here in South Carolina. The BMW's group success in America would not be possible without the open arms and warm hearts of the people and elected officials in the great state of South Carolina and the surrounding region. <laughs> 
Senator Graham, it's an honor to have you with us here today. We greatly appreciate our, your ongoing support over years and years. Thank you very much. Our relationship with South Carolina has been built upon decades of mutual trust and respect and goes far beyond just building cars. I call it, Governor McMaster, a handshake culture, where you give yourselves the handshake and then you can rely on. And that is only possible in South Carolina. <laughs> Governor McMaster, as you have kindly said, we have become part of the very fabric of this great state. And David Britt, we were deeply touched by your words when you said, BMW is the gift that keeps on giving. BMW is the gift that keeps on giving. I'm extremely proud and of the highly skilled people who work here for the BMW Group. As Knut said, it's the heart of our operation and it's the heart of our success. Their passion for excellence ensures that BMW vehicles worldwide built in the US excite and inspire our customers all over the world. Some of my fondest memories are from time to time here when I was here at the plant. I remember the days with Square Dance in the Marriott. Since then, one thing has never changed. This is the unique spirit that makes BMW plant Spartanburg so special. It's all about people, performance, passion, and pride. And you can be very proud on this. Today, I would like to thank, on behalf of the whole Board of Management, all of our associates here at Plant Spartanburg for their strong commitment to deliver world-class products. Thank you very much. You bring this plant to life with your work every single day. Thank you for your outstanding dedication. I'm sure you would all agree that our associates deserve a big round of applause. <laughs> Governor McMaster, Senator Graham, world-class people build world-class products. Today, Spartanburg is our largest plant worldwide. It is the global competence center for our X-Family vehicles, including the BMW X3. And the BMW X3 is the most successful vehicle in its segment worldwide. Wherever I see an X3 in the world, I am proud it's coming from Spartanburg. Today, we are very proud to present you the third generation built by BMW in the US for the world. About 70% of our production from Spartanburg is exported to more than 140 countries. Thanks to our great hardworking team here in the US, BMW again was the leading US automotive exporter by value in 2016, a title we hold with pride the biggest net exporter from the United States. Free trade has made our joint success story in South Carolina and in the US possible. A story we want to continue together with all of you. I firmly believe free trade and open markets are important for future success. It is essential for global business and economies around the world to flourish. Altogether, the BMW Group has invested 8 billion US dollars into Plant Spartanburg to date. And ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to say we are investing a further 600 million US dollars in our manufacturing infrastructure up to 2021.
This is for future generations of our X models. And I'm sorry, I can't tell everything. Sometimes you have to have some secrets. In the next four years, we will create another 1,000 jobs. Thank you. And I, I love this number, 1,000 jobs, which will bring the workforce here at Spartanburg to over 10,000 people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, training and qualifying our associates is key to our future success. We at BMW believe in education. That's why the BMW Group will invest 200 million over the next five years solely for training and further education of associates at Plant Spartanburg. Another 200 million. <laughs> and in addition to this, we will begin to roll out a nationwide training program. We work together with local universities, and they are really great, the local universities and colleges, to offer a combination of training on the job and earning a degree. We will keep investing in our people, in our business in the United States. This underscores our enduring commitment to the people of this great nation and great state. Therefore, I remain confident our footprint and commitment from the BMW Group will continue to grow, not only in the great state of South Carolina, but also in the United States in the years to come. Thank you very much. think about Made in America, I think about BMW Plant Spartanburg because they are made in America. Being part of BMW Manufacturing, we're the largest car exporter in the nation. When you think of growth, you think of opportunities. That's the thing that I like about it. With my education, knowledge, the hands-on training, I can do this myself. There's a lot of inner strength that has to happen before you can conquer whatever is out on the floor. Education is so important to me because it's the only thing that can't be taken away. In the professional world, I was lost until BMW came along. For them to help me with my school and give me the on-the-job experience that they have has seriously been life-changing. A lot of people don't realize it, but without honeybees, I think Einstein said if honeybees died out, that the human race would die out within three years. Oh, now see, this is beautiful. My passion is beekeeping. BMW, it, it, it is kind of like a, a beehive. Everybody has a particular job. I've always been a lifelong learner. Since I've been at BMW, it's always been, you know, we need to make more cars. So you got to be there and be part of the, the building the first car. You got to be a part of all of that growth and change in the BMW product line. It's a sense of pride knowing that our products are going all over the world and they know that it comes from South Carolina. Mm. They just don't get no butter. You know, we're just one person, but you do feel a sense of commitment from the company. In 2006, I was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer, and it all happened really quick from the time I found out to the time I went to surgery. But my family here at work just went above and beyond. It was a true definition of, of family. It wasn't just coworkers. Yes, I have a 12-year-old son and a nine-year-old daughter. They love the cars. That's all they've ever known. Daddy's always had a BMW shirt on. My son tells me he's going to be my boss one day, so <laughs> he's probably got it in him. We work together so that everybody can grow together. 
I take pride in, in my work. I take pride in being able to tell someone that I work at BMW. When you look back over 23 years, it's like, I can't believe that we've grown so much. It was just one small building when we first started, and now you have two assembly halls, you have two body shops, you have two paint shops, and it's just like, there is no stopping. We talk about leaving a legacy for our kids instead of leaving debt for our kids. So being able to work here, you leave a legacy, something that can be passed on from generation to generation. Please welcome the governor of South Carolina, Henry McMaster. President Kruger, President Floor, I don't know if I can improve over that man eating the honey. He said it don't get no better than this. I believe that about says it. It doesn't get any better than this. I've got two reasons to be in love with Spartanburg. One is because a, a little girl grew up here named Peggy in Spartanburg and married old Henry and moved to Columbia. Now she calls Columbia home. That's one good reason. And another one, there's a company that grew up in Germany and married Spartanburg and now called South Carolina home, and that's BMW. I could not be more proud of this company, more proud of the people of South Carolina, and more proud of the accomplishments and the progress that this company and these people have made than I am right now. And I know way back, it wasn't so easy. I was around when the decisions were being made I see David Britt back there. I remember Governor Carol Campbell, who was instrumental as well, and a lot of other leaders, business leaders, people here in Spartanburg and other parts of the state. Land had to be bought, an incentive package had to be devised, big decisions had to be made, and make no doubt about it, decisions carry risk. There was great risk at the time, and in fact, after the accomplishment, after the agreement was made, and President Kruger, you're right, this is one place in the world where a handshake is all it takes to, to make a, a deal. But I remember when the, when the agreement was made, there was criticism. It was not all smooth sailing. That is, some folks thought that it was a mistake. Well, that is part of the risk-taking procedure. And this was one investment, this is a risk, these were decisions that has been said, as David Britt said, it's the gift that keeps on giving and will keep giving for a long time yet, yet to come. There was a poem one time that puts it in perspective as Robert Frost, some of you will remember, he said, uh, came to a, two roads diverged in a yellow wood and I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference. Can you imagine the difference that those decisions, when these decision makers took essentially what was the past, the road less traveled, imagine the difference it has made. Because at the time, I see Bobby shaking his head, oh, there were other states that were more attractive, they said, there were better places to go. It was too risky for the state of South Carolina. Reputations would be destroyed, political careers destroyed. A big mistake, a bad investment, and yet here we are, one of the biggest companies, one of the finest companies in the whole world that now called Spartanburg and South Carolina home, and the presence of this company has changed everything in the trajectory and the future of our state. This was the investment that said to the world, this represents leadership, it represents confidence, it represents vision, it represents excellence, and it's going to grow, and it has grown and produced more positive than results than anyone could have dreamed at the time. It has created a manufacturing renaissance in South Carolina, which is unequaled in any other state in the United States. And ladies and gentlemen, I have to say that the numbers are phenomenal, and you saw some on the screen. With the, all the jobs that have been created here, the people who are working, and as Governor Campbell said, if you give a man a job, you create a strong, stable family. 
and that is what has happened in South Carolina. Number one exporter of vehicles in the U.S. You realize that 1,400 plus a day, that's about one brand new vehicle a second. It's hard to understand that that is what the people in this place are doing. So, BMW is a part of the South Carolina family. South Carolina is a part of the BMW family. The BMW people, the South Carolina people, they're all the same people. So finally, let me say to BMW, thank you. To Governor Campbell, the other leaders, David Britt, people in private, in business, and in politics, thank you. To the people who work, who make the cars, who work and make the cars, those who make the decisions, thank you and congratulations, congratulations. We are so proud of what has happened here and yet the best is yet to come. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, United States Senator Lindsey Graham. Thank you. Uh, what amazes me is that the Germans speak better English than I do, and so just bear with me. Uh, I'm an American politician who likes German cars. I'm an American politician who bought the best <laughs> German car on the market, a BMW. I've got 29,000 miles on my car. Uh, BMW has been good for South Carolina, and I'd like to think South Carolina has been good for BMW. So where do we go, and what are, why are we here? Vision and risk is what we're celebrating. Can you imagine being in uh, Munich talking about going to South Carolina to build a car manufacturing plant? You talk about the risk we took. I mean, this is a pretty big deal in Germany, BMW. So they're going to make a decision to leave the country and set up in America and of all the places they could have chosen, you chose us. And we are forever grateful. And I want to say to the workforce, you delivered, and if you had failed, we wouldn't be celebrating anything. So to the workers here for the last 25 years, you made all that vision and risk possible because you proved <laughs> that of all the places you come, you could come, South Carolina was the right place because of the workforce. Now, if you build a car in Mexico and you sell it to Europe, there is no tariff. If you build a car in America and sell it to Europe, there is a tariff. President Trump negotiate a trade agreement with Europe so we can sell cars to Europe without a tariff. We need more trade, not less. To those who fear globalization, embrace it because it's not going away. If you are looking for an example of how globalization can be a net positive for the American people, come to South Carolina. We will show you how it's done. We'll entice the best companies in the world to spend billions of dollars. They'll make money and our citizens will have the best jobs we could ever hope for as politicians. Globalization is not going away in South Carolina. We have embraced it. There will be some losers in a global economy, but to make yourself a winner in a global economy, do what South Carolina has done. Invest in your technical school systems. Have partnerships with companies where it's okay to make a profit. I don't know how much money BMW has made, but I hope you make more. We've got the highest corporate tax rate in America in the next 25 years. I hope I cannot say that, because I'll be 86 with three terms left, <laughs> and I want to go out with a bang. You make 25,000 electrical-driven cars. In the next 25 years, you're going to add a couple of zeros to that. America is changing. The world economy is changing. It is now time for America, our German friends, to embrace a new way of funding the Highway Trust Fund. Our roads and bridges are in disrepair. 
Cars go further on a gallon of gas. There are more cars on the road today that do not use gasoline as a fuel source at all. It's time to think differently, to have a vision and take a risk. I hope not only we will address the shortfall in the Highway Trust Fund, but as a nation we'll go big and put a fee on carbon in a good business-friendly way to make sure that you'll make more electrical cars who will be good for the environment and good for the worker in South Carolina. So here's my pledge to you, to act as a politician as BMW acts. Think big. Invest today for tomorrow. Not look at the bottom line this quarter, but where will you be 25 years from now? Here's my pledge to all the South Carolina politicians. I say this on their behalf. We're going to make sure that this is the best place for BMW to do business than any place in the world. We're going to keep your taxes low, and we're going to provide you with a quality workforce, and we're going to say thank you every day. As to my car, it's a wonderful driving experience. And every day I get in this car, I can't believe that a young man who grew up in central South Carolina, whose dad owned a liquor store, a pool room, and a bar, which was good training for politics, by the way, <laughs> lived in a mobile home, now is in the United States Senate, driving in VFW. That is an incredible experience, not just from driving, but from life's perspective. To the workforce here, the wages you're being paid and the benefits you're being offered are transforming your families. And to that young man who said one day that my son will be my boss, in America that son may be your president. That's what I like about our country, is that you can come from anywhere and become anything with some luck and a lot of hard work. What I like about BMW is not only that you're dedicated to making the car of today the best on the road, you're dedicated to making sure that in the future, BMW is the premier car manufacturer in the world. And let it be said that there are more cars made by the BMW family in South Carolina than any place in the world. God bless BMW. Does it make sense that a German car company would break ground in Spartanburg, South Carolina and call it home? Does it make sense that they build over 400,000 sports activity vehicles a year? And customize them millions of different ways. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Does it make sense the BMW's largest factory in the world is in this small town in the south? It makes perfect sense. The BMW X4, X5, X6 and the all-new X3 designed in Germany, built in America. And now, prepare for the all-new BMW X3. And now, please welcome the Associates of Plant Spartanburg.
Please welcome back to the stage, the chairman of the BMW Group, Harold Kruger. Isn't this a great picture? Great people and a great product. And I'm sure this will be another success of Plant Spartanburg. The first two generations, we were selling more than 1.5 million vehicles. And I think this great car, anyway, it drives amazing. But I'm really sorry nobody can drive it today. Yeah? I need to keep this one. Be aware. But I can ensure you I had the chance to drive it. It's absolutely amazing. And I'm sure this car will raise the bar even higher and will add another chapter of success to Plant Spartanburg and to the BMW Group on the world. First of all, I would like to thank the BMW people, the Plant Spartanburg team, which are great people, their passion, building a BMW in South Carolina for the world made this possible. They are the backbone of our success. And now I would like to invite Governor McMaster, Senator Graham, Congressman Wilson, Knut Flohr, and Ludwig Willisch on stage, really, that you and Ambassador Wittig, please as well, that we have a nice final picture in terms of the ceremony today will come to an end but it will be another milestone in the success of Plant Spartanburg, BMW in the United States and in the world. Thank you very much for coming.